Hi there, it's Rose. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here for the open collab hashtag deck the year. Now, if you're new to checking out this collab, it is hosted by Penny from Penny's Crafted Creations. And the point of the collab is to go through um, a standard deck of playing cards and alter one side of the card. So you can pick any card out of the deck I typically pick my cards at random, and then um, you just alter the face of the card and then share what you have created. So um, it's a super fun collab. I love being able to alter the playing cards and create artist trading cards. Um, and you can do this to save them, to trade them. At the end of the year, you'll have 52 artist trading cards. So I'm happy to be able to jump in and participate and let's get into it and I'll share what I created for this week. So if you saw my video from last week, the card that I selected was the King of Diamonds and I will link all of my past videos in the description box below so you can catch up and check those out. So for this week, what I took was um, a piece of a cover sheet from a book that I picked up at the dollar store. And um, I thought this was a really pretty design um, and I really liked that. So I decided to ink this up with some cracked pistachio and broken china distress ink. And if you saw my short, I've recently organized my distress inks on a new stamp and storage uh, case made especially for distress inks that I'm absolutely in love with. So my distress inks are front and forward in my redesigned craft studio, and I'm very excited about that. Um, so I colored this up with those two inks, and then I brought in a stamp collection from Hero Arts, and it's uh, from the Vault Celestial, and I used this beautiful moon in the clouds and this sentiment. And I absolutely love this stamp set. I don't use it as often as I should, uh, but it's absolutely beautiful, specifically if you love that celestial theme and um, you're going for something like that. So I used that. Um, I used some of my uh, Prismacolor pencils to do some coloring over the Distress ink. And then I brought in some of these At You Spisa Twinkling Like Stars um, glitter markers and I'm probably pronouncing that right but um, if you don't know these they're absolutely beautiful. I have um, both sets. I think there are only two. They're made in Japan and they really give you the color and the glitter that I'm looking for. In addition to that I also brought in some stickles in gold and let me share the card that I created. So here is a look at the card, and I took that really pretty background from the book page, and I inked it up with the Distress inks, and then I stamped the um, two stamps from here are the Beautiful Moon and this sentiment which says, Cherish Yesterday, Live for Today, and Dream of Tomorrow. I thought it was beautiful with the celestial theme. But then I wanted to add some color to the moon, so that's where I brought in some of my Prisma colored pencils and just colored up little areas um, just to deepen and bring in some other colors. So I brought in some yellows, some purples, some fuchsia colors, and then some turquoise around what I uh, perceive to be um, like a galaxy in the shape of a flower and I lightened that up with the Prismacolor pencils, and then I wanted to deepen and saturate all the colors using those um, twinkling markers um, for some glitter and, again, for some of that richer color. So I just took specific areas and deepened that up. Some of the yellows, I added some oranges in, some more fuchsia, some other pinks, and some of that deep purple. And then I took some of the stickles and just to add just hot touch, touches of glitter, um, just smearing it around with my finger in the corners of the card. Um, and that is what it looks like. It's got some shine. Um, and then you can also see some, um, what looks like dimension without there really being dimension. 
from just kind of coloring and just areas of that. I love that background because it almost looks like mosaics. Here's, of course, the back of the card, and I always include the um, what the card is, the suit, and then the date. And um, that is my card for this week. So I wanna thank Penny again for hosting. I want to encourage you to check out the hashtag Deck the Year. Check out all the other collaborators that are creating artist trading cards with their deck of cards. Be sure to hit the like if you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing, ringing the bell notification uh, so that you don't miss any of these. And I'm gonna come back, shuffle the deck, cut the deck and pick my card for next week. So my card for next week is the Six of Clubs and I'm very excited to be able to alter that. Please be sure to check back with me next week to see what I decide to do to alter this card into an artist trading card. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.